Hey, what's up guys? Justin with 2-1 Tactical. Today I want to take a look at a quick Becker mod that you guys can do at home. As you can see, this here is my Becker BK-18 and there is absolutely no traction coating on it whatsoever. If you're like me and hate the way that stuff looks once you start using the knife, then I'm going to show you how to remove it. First thing you're going to need is this quick strip. I recommend this brand. It's available at Lowe's. I think it's like $9. It works in about 15-20 minutes. But the thing is, everybody knows that if you want a stripper to work hard, you got to tip it. Second thing you're going to need, distilled white vinegar. I'll explain that a little bit later on. But third, you're going to want safety. I suggest using like dish gloves, something like that. If you use the surgical gloves, chances are they're going to melt the second they come in contact with the stripper. As far as the scales go, you're definitely going to have to remove those because the stripper will turn those into mush as well. After you remove the scales, you're going to want to set it down inside of a tray that I suggest is not used for food and not plastic. Maybe a aluminum turkey tray that you can find at Walmart for about 99 cents. Completely submerge one side or completely cover one side flip it over then you're gonna wanna saturate it literally you want it whenever the the foam settles on it you want it to completely settle over the knife and not have any bare areas exposed let that soak 15-20 minutes then you're gonna wanna get a st uh, straight razor and scrape all that off be very careful when doing so so you, the edge of it don't scratch the knife and put a nice gouge in it because it will show through on the finish later on. The inside of the milling, right here on the inside of the scales, you might want to get an X-Acto knife to scrape around it, but if you leave it, it's not going to be shown because obviously the scales are going to be on it, and you'll actually have that little bit extra uh, corrosion resistance inside the handle. You know, it's up to you. You can actually just do the outer, the outer part that shows and maybe just a little bit up the sides you know, if you don't want to sit there and scrape this whole thing but chances are once you spray this whole thing you're gonna to want to scrape it all off after you do that you want to take it and it goes directly to the water with it cold water you want to rinse it off as fast as possible the second you take it out of that water you're gonna to want to wipe it down with rubbing alcohol and the reason you do that is it will help it dry and also keep it from rusting instantaneously. So once you get it really, really clean with the rubbing alcohol, you're going to want to completely submerge it again in this distilled white vinegar. The longer you let it sit in there, the darker it's going to get. I let mine sit in there for an over an hour, and this is the finish it got. It actually came out two-tone, as you can see. The swedge and the grind here is a little bit lighter than this part here which actually looks really really good I gotta admit but the thing is when you're doing the white vinegar is it will start to form bubbles it will start to oxidate a little bit can't let that happen you're gonna want to shake the pan don't let those bubbles settle on it whatsoever because it will polka dot your knife and everyone will laugh at you I suggest using gloves throughout the whole thing because Everybody knows that if you mess with the stripper, you're going to get burned. Again, if you guys do this, please protect yourself. That stripper is some bad, bad stuff. I know from experience. <laughs> but if you guys decide to do this mod, please share your results with me on Instagram. I'm beyond curious, and I love chopping it up with you guys about knife and knife mods. So hit me up. Let me know if you do it. And stay safe out there. See you guys on the next one.